The show where people come up with different stories, the tragic ones, the supportive ones, and the disturbing ones that led them to binge eating is America's most famous reality program, My 600 Pound Life. But today, we will show you something contrary to that. Yeah, today we will look at some of the love stories that a famous TLC show has brought to us. So, let's roll. Long list of lovers. I'm covered up and I really didn't even notice it until my legs and feet and stuff started hurting so bad. A bedridden woman who was totally dependent on her boyfriend. This narrative introduced us to 51-year-old Lisa Eberson, who was suffering from a lung disorder, skin disease, and many other obesity-related health complications. Look at myself. I don't really think I ever really noticed it until my legs and feet and stuff started hurting so bad. Her past story showed her as a disturbed child who saw her father being drunk and beating her mother. She was also molested at the age of 13 by two guys. In order to never let someone touch her, she started binge eating. When she was 16, she met a guy named Terrence, the father of her son named Matthew. She had a great relationship with him, but she left him. Later, she met a guy who went to prison on the charge of killing an innocent. They both got married, but when he came out, things took a bad turn, as he became a drug addict and he started to hit her. He was sent back to the penitentiary, and they got divorced. She met another guy named Homer at the age of 19, but he was on drugs too, so they ended up breaking. List doesn't end here because then she met Charles after that, even though this affair also ended due to lots of fights. And then she met Harry, who was a womanizer, and this made her insecure. So she finally stuck up with Randy. I met Randy at the grocery store at age 40, came up and started talking to me. Gave him my phone number, and I've been with Randy ever since. Who was more like her caretaker? I feel like her caretaker and of a boyfriend so many times. He did the bedding, cooked for her, and even washed her up. He was shown motivating her by saying everything will be fine. He helped her throughout the program, and one day, he passed away due to COVID. Well, she continued the program and kept losing weight. Unfortunately, she was not approved for the surgery. You would like to go over, discuss that we haven't talked about? Mm -mm. Single mother of two. Life at my size has become a never-ending struggle. The mother who didn't want the father of her daughters to be a part of their lives was 39 years old Crystal Rollin. During high school, Rollin was unable to trust anyone because many guys took advantage of her. But later, she started to date a co-worker at a pizza shop and moved in with him. But sadly, it ended when he became an alcoholic and started to beat her. At the age of 25, she met the father of the girls. Things were good, but later he turned out to be more abusive than the previous ones. So, she managed to escape with her daughters. Clearly, these drastic relationships led to her binge eating. She mentioned that she didn't want the father of the girls to financially help them, and she wanted to be there for her daughters. Well, at the end of the episode, she got approved for her weight loss surgery, but this was to be scheduled when she would be able to breathe without artificial oxygen. You're starting to be able to control your eating habit better, so I'm gonna approve you for weight loss surgery. Binge eating boyfriend. Yeah, they've been here for two months and uh, it doesn't seem like they have lost any weight. The man who valued food over his relationship was 32-year-old Julius J.T. Clark from Claremore, Oklahoma. He had a girlfriend named Jessica who acted as his enabler. They both met each other on a dating app. When she first came over, she felt very comfortable, but she loved his nature. So every morning she woke up before him and brought stuff he loves to eat. Every time she left the house, she made sure that something was beside Julia's bed to eat. Jessica even had to leave the house to shop frequently because Clark's appetite was growing day by day and the demand for food required daily shopping. She also mentioned that she was scared about his life and didn't want him to be mad, so she brought food for him. But his mullishness and obsession with food were putting his relationship with Jessica at stake claiming that he wanted to have his own family, for which her girlfriend recommended him to visit Dr. Now. But due to his lust for food, he was admitted to the hospital to be kept under surveillance. But 
he was still sneaking food, which led them to break up on camera. This served as a wake-up call for him, and he worked so hard that he finally got his weight loss surgery. My mental state, me not being in a mental state, me being stressed out, can makes me eat, makes me want to eat. A fetish model mom. Food is just so good to me. Food can fill me up and make me feel the most comfort that I've ever felt. The fetish model who suffered a series of horrible relationships in the past was 35-year-old Samantha Mason. She ate food for a living and she was happy to get love from her fans. But this resulted in her difficulty in breathing and walking. Thank you for requesting this. It's making me bigger and bigger. I can just feel it. She was clearly a burden on her daughter. But the whole binge eating started in her childhood when her father became an alcoholic and started to physically abuse her mother, and later they got divorced. In order to cover the loneliness, she started eating a lot. She also had a rocky relationship with her daughter's father, and after her daughter Bella was born, they broke up, which further induced her anxiety. Unfortunately, Mason's father suddenly passed away, and she also lost her job, which made her further eat loads of food, and she ended up tipping at 940 pounds. But due to her continuous struggles and efforts, she finally got approved for her weight loss surgery, and it is marked as the largest weight loss transformation in my 600 pound life. By this time next year, I will have my life back. I worked way too hard. A roller coaster of love. I could be upset and I eat my food and it'll soothe my pain. The woman who ate food just to reduce her pain was 39-year-old LaShanta White from Kenner, Louisiana. Her past included the rocky life of her parents. They both fought and were not paying any attention to the children, so she turned to food for comfort. She had a relationship with a guy, and she got pregnant, but later he denied to consider that kid his own child, and this resulted in a breakup. Seems like you finally figured out what to do to lose some weight and to stick with your diet. After this, she again had a baby girl with another guy, but things got even worse as he became abusive. She then had another relationship from which she got a third child, and this time that guy left for her to raise the baby all on her own. At the age of 28, she again found someone who treated her well, and she got her fourth child from him. And again, it resulted in cheating and in an abusive relationship. Finally, she met JT in a hospital when she was on the stretcher, and he found her attractive. He loved her smile. He said that it was love at first sight, as he found her nice and cuddly. Despite all these, she made Dr. Now furious, and she was dismissed from the show. And it feels like a weight on my heart has been lifted. I'm glad I did it, and I faced my fear just for that. Before we go on to the last love life story on our list, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video as well as if you have any favorite shows that you'd like to see on our channel. Enabling to death. I'm not ready to die, but I'm also not ready to give up food. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. A woman who had a boyfriend that could do anything to put her at ease was 28-year-old Tiffany Barker. According to her, she absolutely loved to shop for a good meal. Despite having a childhood trauma of an abusive father, which led her to have lots of food, so that she could grow big enough that everyone would feel terrified before talking to her. When my dad was in charge, you had to be part of the clean plate club. Everything had to be cleaned off of your plate. You couldn't leave the table. Her relationship with her boyfriend, Aaron, was perfect. Hey, hey what's up? Are you ready? Yeah. And he was the only one who helped her in losing her weight. Tiffany and I dated about six months online before we met in person. When I first met Tiffany in person, I was shocked at how big she was. He bought her some cookies while traveling to Houston at Dr. Now's clinic. Once I eat, I'll calm down and feel better. They both met on an online game that Tiffany wanted to be honest with him, even knowing that it could result in devastation and heartbreak. But she showed Aaron her body. Luckily, he asked her to move in. Aaron was then turned into her caretaker. He worked at two places. Though they were unable to be intimate, he still decided to stay with her and decline the option of an open relationship. In the end, the supportive relationship with Aaron gave her an opportunity for weight loss surgery and she accomplished her goal. They both also decided to marry and start a new life. 
I'm alive, you're alive. I think, I think that's a good thing. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.